Alright guys, well I just wanted to do a quick little recap episode um, about all of those times in the past, how many episodes have we done? About 144 or something like that? Um, about in all of those episodes I've constantly been saying, oh remember this guys, for when we reach nightfall, remember this, remember this. Uh, but there's no way everyone's remembered everything. And for those of you who haven't played the game, uh, I figured this would be quite a nice episode for you. So I'm just going to quickly, well hopefully quickly, um, recap all of the things that I said, remember this. Uh, so as we go into this next series, um, we've got it all fresh on our mind. Okay, so really the big first thing uh, was when we got to the Crystal Desert, wasn't it? There were loads of stuff there to do with Nightfall. Uh, what was the first thing we saw? We found out that in the desert, um, there'd been loads of old civilizations that had all come and tried to ascend, uh, but they'd all failed. All of them had died out, and uh, there were just all of their ruins and wreckages there. And we le we learnt about one of those people. They were called Elonians. Uh, they come from down south, a place called Elona. And we met the man who led them there uh, in his ghost form. We met Churai Osa, who was now a ghost, but apparently hundreds of years ago, he became famous really because he defeated another man called Palawa Joko at what was called the Battle of Jahai. Um, we had no idea what any of that meant, um, but Nightfall will be going into more depth about that. So, And then he led all of his people there and they all died miserably out, uh, which was a bit stupid of him really. Uh, but there were lots of civilizations, weren't there? There were loads of, said to be loads and loads and loads. And the first of those that we really heard about were the Marganites, who weren't actually living on the desert at all. They were sailors, because supposedly about a thousand years ago, um, it wasn't a crystal desert at all. It was a crystal sea. So these Marganite people used to sort of sail around there. But then, about a thousand years ago, uh, the crystal sea turned into a desert. And we have no idea why. It just suddenly happened. It wasn't like the water slowly evaporated away. It suddenly happened because you could see all of the ships out in the sand dunes. It was a sudden thing. Uh, and the Marganite people just kind of disappeared someplace. And that kind of seems to have happened around the time that the gods left the world. Uh, we don't know if there's any significance there, but there could be, so Nightfall will be going into that as well. Uh, still while in the desert, we had the Tomb of the Primeval Kings, um, which was a tomb where Lord Audrin had come along and plonked a portal down to the mists. But then, uh, a few years back, some random enemies from some hellish place just came and started attacking it, some place in the mists. We have no idea why, uh, but they completely corrupted that tomb. Uh, so what else was there? So there was also the sinking of ore, you know, massive cataclysm, absolutely terrible. Uh, we heard that the king's advisor had gone sort of into the tombs beneath Ara, the city of the gods, and he'd read some of this magic and blew it all up and destroyed the entire nation. And we were told it's because the Char were attacking, but it seems like quite a lot to destroy your entire nation uh, just because the Char are attacking. So... Uh, Nightfall will be going into that a little bit more in depth, uh, and we'll be sort of going into the vizier's mind a little bit. And of course, the next time we met this man, this king's advisor, he'd been transformed into the evil lich because of the cataclysm, and his goal was to destroy the door of Kamali, which the Masat were keeping shut, because behind this door was a portal to a horrible evil place where all of these demons were waiting to come out and he was hoping to control them and we never really did learn much about the demons that were in there or about the, the realm that they'd come from at all uh, but he was hoping to control them with the scepter of ore which we never really knew much about either uh, he, we just knew that he could try to control them with that and then after we defeated him the scepter just kind of disappeared on its own and went to some place uh, and Nightfall will be going into that a little bit more as well uh, in more recent times, we've been hearing about the fortune teller, this horrible old woman who got inside Shiro Degachi's head and basically made him commit the most devastating murder in Canthan history. And then also, when we defeated Shiro ourselves years later, the envoys came and told us that they'd reserved some special place in hell for him, um, and we never re that they had some big grand plan for his soul, uh, but they never really elaborated very much either, did they? Okay, so I'm sure I'm missing everything, but I can see I've talked for about five minutes already. So, uh, yeah, expect Nightfall to go into all of this stuff, guys, and lots more. And I hope you enjoy the next series, because I know that I will, because it's my favourite one. So, yeah, uh, I'll see you next time, everyone.